with more on our Friday. Yeah, things look uh, pretty peaceful today. A little of the breezy side, but overall a quiet weather picture. Drier weather as we head into the weekend. Just a little bit of a change from recent days, Jasper. We've been in the 40s or even 50s over the past week. This is the coldest we have felt uh, in about a week. With temperatures this morning in the 20s and today uh, struggling to get back above freezing. We've had some sun all day. Time lapse from our Louis Donato camera from Assisi Heights. The handful of cirrus clouds. That's it. Otherwise, those rough winds more noticeable and certainly we felt our, our share of some pretty harsh wind gusts and most of those last night and very early this morning winds since then have really dropped off. We're still in that blustery range at 20 to 25 mile per hour range, but not too bad. We are seeing a lot more liquid in the, the Mississippi River. The, the snow, the ice has melted in the past couple of days and certainly a couple of nights ago when we had lows in the 40s. That helped quite a bit. This is live from Lake City with our Lewis Donato camera there. Temperatures mainly in the low and mid 30s. Rochester 32, Austin 37, 36 right now in Winona, 36 in Red Wing. So temperatures very close to roughly what you expect this time of the year. We've been getting kind of used to the warmer than average weather for most of this month, at least by a few degrees. But today, Definitely a taste of that blustery mid-March weather we typically see this time of the year. And uh, we may even be a couple degrees below that 39. That would be the climate average for this time of the year. 20 is the current wind chill. 21 mile per hour winds. Again, gusting to around 25 right now in the Med City. 23, the current gust this hour, Dodge Center. 23 in, in Preston and 28 in Charles City. Overall, an improvement from where we were a few hours ago again. Temperatures quite a bit colder than yesterday. Keep in mind, at this point yesterday, we were reaching the high temperature in Rochester, 50 degrees today. And we're in the 30s uh, since this time yesterday, it's 17 degrees colder at this hour in Rochester, uh, 14 degrees colder in Austin, Mason City, 17 degrees colder. And we get that cooler air settling in. Of course, where's the warmth? Well, it's way ahead of that cold front that is now moving way eastward Pittsburgh. That's where the 50s are now. The rest of the country quite a bit colder. Green Bay, 38, 43 in St. Louis. Blustery and cold. Some sunshine today, though. Cold and quiet weather will be in the 20s for night lows next couple of nights. Daytime highs 30s to maybe near 40, but uh, not the really balmy stuff of recent days. Maybe until the middle of next week, we begin to see at least some of that. And we'll also have some rain chances come up with that uh, warmer spell of weather uh, as well. We're looking at some sunshine through the afternoon. Still a harsh breeze through about 6 o'clock, but we get past sunset around 7 o'clock to the 8 o'clock hour. We'll have uh, winds diminishing to that 10 mile per hour range. So topping out around 37, easing back to the low 20s tonight. That's actually typical for this time of the year. We haven't had a low temperature that cold in more than a week, though. Back to 23 overnight. Here's that cold front pushing southward. We've had a secondary front. One went through yesterday. This is a second wave of cold air. So reinforcement with that and the winds, but some cold sunshine and then starlight. But the clouds fill in after midnight, looking at gray skies tomorrow to start the day. It's quite a storm system west of us, producing snow showers in parts of the Missouri Valley, but not for us. We're going to have clouds and then peaks of sunshine by afternoon. Clearing tomorrow night will stay in the 20s for overnight lows, but a much lighter breeze. And then heading into Sunday, just a hint of a southeast breeze. It's going to help us warm to about 40. And then we'll see a, the, the storm system to the west bring a chance of maybe a little rain by late Monday. But until then, dry weather, at least a peaceful weekend. Jet stream more or less in a west to east, we call it a zonal pattern. So straight off the Pacific, basically uh, temperatures right where we expect them to be this time of the year. Maybe a push of warmth every so often with 40s, but late in the week, so seeing some cold air come in that may yield a snow chance by next Friday. We'll be monitoring that about seven days away, though, a few days off. In the meantime, dust is the primary allergen right now. Let's look at the, the pollen outlook. Otherwise, everything is on the low end of the scale. Temperatures in the 30s, then we'll see 40s for the early part of next week, and that's maybe a couple degrees above average. Otherwise, very March-like. 37 in Rochester, Austin 41 today. Mostly sunny, blustery and cold. Winds at times 25 miles per hour. A diminishing breeze tonight, increasing clouds 23 and some clouds, then some sun, partly sunny and chilly, 36 tomorrow. Seven day forecast, a little late day of rain Monday, a good looking St. Patrick's Day, and then rain, perhaps a little snow by the end of next week. Thank you, Ted.